Hi, I'm Mark Tewart, and I'm the author of the book, How to Be a Sales Superstar, Break All the Rules, and Succeed While Doing It. I think the very key part of this book is not just the title of How to Be a Sales Superstar, but it's the subtitle, Break All the Rules and Succeed While Doing It. Why? Throughout my total business career of over 30 years, what I have found of evaluating, speaking to, aligning, and becoming a superstar, a key component of that is breaking all the rules. In other words, everybody's life rules do not have to apply to you. They're business rules that don't have to apply to you. Who said that you have to live somebody else's life? I haven't found one superstar that lives by the norms that are taught by everybody else. As a matter of fact, they look at everything and say, why is that so? And does it give me the most chance to succeed? We're, we're traditionally rule breakers in that we're trying to look for a way to do things better. Now, that doesn't mean you have to be arrogant. It doesn't mean you have to disobey every boss you ever have. But you have to always think for yourself. You can't just blindly follow the herd. That's why I'm known as the contrarian. And I want to talk to you about a chapter in this book. It's chapter 13. And it's called How to Get the Sale, the Contract, and the Money. Now you can, you can go through everything you want in sales, but unless you can get the sale, the contract, and the money, you're spinning your wheels and wasting time. You're practicing. Unless you get the dollars, you're practicing. And we have all seen that salesperson that can get people to love them. They can prospect. They can bring people in. They can present. They can demonstrate. The people love them. They can't ask for the business. They can't ask confidently. They can't handle an objection. They can't differentiate themselves. And they can't tell the customer, no. And yes, I, we, our product is the best fit for you. They don't act confidently. Not arrogantly, but confidently. And does that make a difference? Absolutely. I want to share something with you out of the book. This comes from an article that I actually wrote. I was doing a speaking engagement. I was in San Francisco. I walked across the street after the engagement and I'm sitting at a Starbucks and I'm writing an article. And I'm just blindly looking out the window and there was a gentleman begging for money. He must have been there for an hour. And after an hour time of watching every single person almost that walked by give him money, I actually now looked at his sign, the printed sign that he had up. And the sign said something to the effect of, I'm asking money to get weed, a hooker, and wine. Thank you. Now that may sound bad to you, and I'm not condoning what he was doing by any stretch of the imagination, but it started to make me laugh because everybody that had walked by had given this guy money from the Red Hat Society ladies, the older ladies in their club, to the business people, the Wall Street looking type, banker type people to whoever walked by. Families with kids were giving this guy money. And what was the key to this guy getting money? Well, I put it here in the book. He asked everybody for the sell. Everybody that came by, he asked. And he asked confidently. And he asked with a big old huge smile and enthusiasm uh, when he did it. Now, they may not have read his sign, but they did read his face. So he asked for the business and he communicated with confidence. Number two, it's not the money. See, all of you out there selling at one time or another start to pretend to yourself in your brain and convince yourself that it's about the money. Rarely, if ever, is it about the money. In the car business, when you're selling a car, it's about money, me, or machine. So if the money is equal, you gotta differentiate your machine or you, and it's usually you, people by you. How can you be different? What is it different about the way you deliver it? The way that you bring the Disneyland effect? Do you have a better product knowledge, a better service, a better way you deliver it? Uh, if you're selling some tangible product, uh, what is different about the terms, about the way you package the product, the way you follow up, the way you greet somebody, uh, the order of the process that you sell? that does a takeaway that makes somebody want it from you, the testimonials that you give. Don't ever kid yourself that you're selling a commodity. It's only a commodity if you allow yourself to become a commodity. You should never be a commodity. You can stand out. Nobody is you. Nobody can recreate you ever. You are different and unique and therefore everything that you, that you sell, 
can be different or unique. The third thing I put on here is change the process to win. Let me share with you, I have done consulting jobs often, and uh, my assistant Jacqueline can tell you this, that often at the end of my process, I never even have to ask anybody to buy. They're almost always asking me, and they're willing to pay me, and they don't even know what they're getting ready to pay. The reason being is I change the process. I don't beg. I don't do requests for proposals. I get into a process where I ask the right questions and it brings up the customer's pain, it brings up their pleasure, it brings up what they want, what they need, to the point where they start to tell me about what issues they're having and asking me how I could solve it and getting deeper into a conversation where they feel like I'm a trusted advisor and I'm no longer somebody begging and willing to give them a request for a proposal that's now just going to be gauged upon price with every person out there that's trying to quote sell them something. If I do my job right, I really don't have to sell because you'll be begging to take it away from me. I wrote in here lesson number four, change the wrapping. The wrapping could be you. How do you dress? Can you dress one up from your uh, competition? Everybody's dressing down today, but could you dress up when you're in front of the customer? Could you train, change the wrapping on your product or service and the way you deliver it? Or in your communications, instead of sending a piece of mail or a card, could I send a FedEx? Yes, it's expensive. Could I send a trash can mailer? Could I send a bank bag envelope mailer? You see, if you change the wrapping, you change the way that people view you and impressions and first impressions are very important. I put in here number five, the money is in the niche. So often what you think you're selling, you shouldn't be selling. You should be selling a niche of a niche of a niche. And those niches may sell your overall product or service, but what is the problem behind the problem? What is the product behind the product? There are riches and niches. I would say also don't try to sell to everybody. I want you to look for a niche within your industry that you become the go-to known expert that you position yourself as the king of trucks, as the king of foreclosures, as the king of, you get the idea. There are riches and niches. Where can you create your specialization, your value, where you don't have to fight on price? People are begging you as an expert. When you're an expert, people don't beg you about price. They pay you. Uh, showing empathy versus uh, sympathy. I want you to empathize with people but not have sympathy. Sympathy is you're crying and believe in every objection they give you. Empathy is you want to help them solve their problems. So there's just some things in this chapter that I think could help anybody instantly. I know could help anybody instantly increase your closing percentage. I mean, do you really know what the five-step process is to handling questions? I go into businesses and I often find when I ask them, show me your step process when somebody asks you a question. Show me your step process when somebody has an objection. Show me your presentation process. They don't have that. How are you going to differentiate yourself versus somebody else if you don't have that? So I take you through all these processes and how to get to yes and how to actually close the sale. Often, closing the sale is about opening up the opportunity through you. Once again, my name is Mark Tewart. I wrote the best-selling book, How to Be a Sales Superstar, Break All the Rules, and Succeed While Doing It. I want you to get the first chapter for free. Go to my website. Go to either marktewart.com or tewart.com. That's T-E-W-A-R-T.com, or you can call us at 888-2-TEWART. I look forward to talking to you again, and good selling.